Hello children, welcome to Max class. How are you all? So you are eagerly waiting for the last class for term 1. Isn't it? And with this video slot, portion is going to over for term 1. Okay children, are you all happy? Good. Start preparing from... I hope you have already started. Okay. And it's going on. Good children. And uh, today we are going to talk about the last chapter symmetry. And based on that I would like to share with you a thought. God gave us eyes to see the beauty in nature. God gave us eyes to see the beauty in nature. And hearts to see the beauty in each other. And he has given us both. And with our eyes we see many beautiful things around us. Everything is beautiful because they are symmetrical. Even here, this shape is beautiful because it has its own orderliness. Isn't it? And from our heart, we should see the beauty in others. Every human in nature have both positive and negative thoughts. Both positive and negative attitudes. But we are supposed to see only the positive things. We should share their positive things to others. Okay children. If we start doing that. Our heart will become beautiful. And our life will become beautiful. So everything around us will become beautiful. Okay children. So with this thought. Let us get into the chapter symmetry. See here these two things look beautiful because they have symmetricity in some way or the other. This have both line symmetry as well as rotational symmetry. Here it has line symmetry in many ways, many lines of symmetry. Isn't it? This reminds us of chemistry chapters where we have bonds between atoms, electrons, many things will be discussed in chemistry. Isn't it? Yes, dear children. So, everywhere we can see symmetricity. To begin with, we learnt about line symmetry. A figure has line symmetry if there is a line about which the figure may be folded so that the two parts of the figure will coincide. We used to play with kerchiefs, folding it and making many things, isn't it? Even with papers, we do many craft. Here, we discussed about line of symmetry for many polygons. To begin with, let me say about triangle because it is the polygon with less number of sides, with the least number of sides. Is it possible to have a polygon with two lines? No. At least we should have three lines to make a polygon. So it's an equilateral triangle. This equilateral triangle will have three lines of symmetry. Here in isosceles triangle, we have only one line of symmetry. Is it clear? What about rectangle? It has two lines of symmetry. Is it not symmetrical along diagonal? Just fold it and see while making boards using paper. If it is a rectangle shaped paper, will you be able to make a perfect board? And if you fold it along a diagonal, it will not overlap each other, isn't it? So, rectangle is not symmetrical about diagonals. Square is there symmetrical about diagonals. Okay children, parallelogram has no line of symmetry at all. Whereas, this circle is a perfect symmetrical figure. However we keep, it is symmetrical. So, it has infinite lines of symmetry. Do you think only these are the lines of symmetry for a circle? We have here in between these two. Then again between these two we can have many lines. So, we have infinite lines of symmetry for circle. Is it clear my dear children? In particular, let us see about triangles now. 
See, it's an equilateral triangle. Other way, we can say it as regular triangle. It has three lines of symmetry. Can you give me the other name for this line of symmetry? I discussed in previous session. Yes, it is nothing but median and altitude. This line of symmetry is also called as median or altitude. For this equilateral triangle, this line of symmetry is the median. This line of symmetry is the altitude. And same way, it has three median, three altitude, three lines of symmetry. What about scale in triangle? It has no line of symmetry. But will you say that it has no altitude, no median? No. It is something different. This uh, line, um, we can find the median for any triangle, but it will not be line of symmetry. Is it clear? Only for equilateral triangle, we can say the median and altitude are the line of symmetry. Here, when it comes to isosceles triangle, we have only one line of symmetry. And of course, this is the median and this is the altitude. And we can find two more medians and two more altitudes for this triangle, which are not line of symmetry. Okay. In isosceles triangle, only one line of symmetry will be there. And it will also be the altitude and median, one of the altitude and one of the median of that triangle. Is it clear, children? So, next we learnt how to complete the symmetrical figures. And these are very simple things. And I have also given you examples how to make symmetrical using colors after drawing lines of symmetry. You have to uh, find the image bo along both x-axis as well as y-axis. First, you have to complete along x-axis, then complete along y-axis so that it is easy for you. Hope you will remember, see all these designs, you can see it in fabrics, in your clothes, isn't it? In your mom's sari, you can find these designs. Every way, symmetricity gives beauty. Now, next we learnt about rotational symmetry. And these are the points that you should have it in mind about rotational symmetry. What is rotation? Can you define rotation? Yes, rotation is a movement. There is a movement in that object. How it is moving? It turns about a fixed point. So, rotation is a movement that turns an object about a fixed point. And what is the name of that fixed point? It is the center of rotation. Here it is. And uh, how, how far it is rotating? It is measured by angle. So, the angle by which the object rotates is the angle of rotation and we speci specially learnt about what is half turn, what is quarter turn, what is 3 by 4th turn. Half turn is 180 degree. Quarter turn in the sense 90 degree. Then 3 by 4th turn. What is the measure of 3 by 4th turn that is not in your text? Yes, it is 270 degree but you should know that also. And we can have turns apart from this degree also. We can have turns of 30 degree. Or we can have turns of 10 degree also. Okay children. But we don't have special name for such turns. Okay. Uh, while we are turning using our handbrakes and uh, scooties or bikes. No. We turn little bit. That turn means the same here. Okay. We twist little bit. No. That is meant as turn. It is also a movement. Moving. Around an angle is called turn. Okay. It can be done either in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. But it, uh, it is better to always go in anti-clockwise direction. Or clockwise. Both are okay. If uh, after a rotation and our uh, object looks exactly the same, we say that it has a rotational symmetry. What is rotational symmetry? This is the definition for you. After a rotation, if it looks exactly the same, it is called rotational symmetry. Then what is order of rotation? In a complete turn, in complete one turn, what is the angle of one complete turn? It is 360 degree. In that one complete turn, the number of times an object looks the same is called the order of rotational symmetry. Even this we discussed in depth in previous classes. Okay children, and here is an example for that rotational symmetry is when a shape or image is rotated. Still it looks the original picture. See here. Here second rotation. Then third rotation. Here fourth rotation. So after four, uh, four times it looks the same in one complete turn. You can have a look again children. 
see here this is first then second then third then fourth so four times it looked the same okay so it is called to have it is said to have order to be four here this picture no time it is looking the same it looks the same only after one complete rotation so it has order to be zero or one yes the order for picture which has no rotational symmetry is one okay one is the order of rotational symmetry for irregular pictures that is what they have given here is it clear children in previous class we discussed about uh, the symmetricity of letters hope you remember and today we are going to see another picture where we have line symmetry everywhere all these pictures have only one line symmetry either horizontal or vertical if we rotate it it does not have rotational symmetry so we can say the rotational symmetry of order not greater than 1 so it is it has an order to be 1 only instead of saying that order is to be 1 they are stating it as rotational symmetry of order not greater than 1 okay children uh, see here if it has only one line symmetry it will not have rotational symmetry is it clear if it has only one rotational symmetry it will also have only one line symmetry it may have it may not have okay if in previous slide i showed you now clouds it has no line symmetry at all but it had order of rotation to be one isn't it so don't get confused with number of lines of symmetry and order of rotation even if there is no rotational symmetry order of rotation is one is it clear in the next slide you can see pictures where they have rotational symmetry greater than 1 here 5 4 6 here 3 here also 3 rotational symmetry order all these has no line symmetry i will show you again see here we will not have line symmetry look carefully deep inside it will not exactly divide it into two equal halves such that they overlap of course yellow is overlapping but see the other colors here red green blue and even in this rangoli no you can see that see if i draw a line no and it is not overlapping even here it may look that it has line line symmetry but it is not having line symmetry so it has only rotational symmetry and no line symmetry so an ob object which has rotational symmetry need not have line symmetry it is not always compulsory that it should have line symmetry but if it has line symmetry surely it will have rotational symmetry all objects having rotational symmetry need not have line symmetry but all objects having line symmetry surely will have rotational symmetry both the ways you should understand now next here it's a regular polygon hexagon and it has six lines of symmetry then it rotates 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So order of rotational symmetry is 6 here. Shall I play it again for you? Yes. 1, 2, Yes, the lines of symmetry are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lines of symmetry. Rotation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In all these rotational position, it looks the same. So, order of rotation is 6. Even the same way we have plus sign also. Here also it has how many lines of symmetry? 2, 3, 4. 4 lines of symmetry. What about rotation? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it has order of rotation to be 4. Here this rangoli has how many lines of symmetry? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 lines of symmetry. Now rotational symmetry, 1, 2, 3, 4. It has 4 lines of 4 rotational symmetry. Sorry, order of rotation to be 4. Is it clear children? So we will continue in next video.